This is pretty close to what the new Y-axis kit looks like. This is just a prototype, but uh, if you've got one, it should look pretty close to this. Got your rail, piece of extrusion, carriage, some angle brackets, nuts and bolts, a couple printed parts. And I've also got the sub button in the glass here. Um, if you're going to install this onto an existing bot, obviously you've got to remove whatever Y assembly you've already got there. And that'll leave you something that looks something like that. Um, you may still have your angles on there, but I took them off. It's going to make it easier to see what I'm doing. So, first thing to get mounted up. Well, the first thing to note is I've already got two nuts here and two nuts in this side. Um, next thing to do, first thing to do, is to get this extrusion mounted in the center. Before we get going on that, we want to make sure we preload it with the right number of nuts. We've got seven holes in the uh, new rail, so we're going to load up seven of these. Oh, by the way, when you get these rails, they may come with the carriage already on them. The carriage works in one direction. The other direction is a little bit stiff, so make sure if it's not on there or if you get confused, you test both directions, because one way works really well and the other way doesn't. Well, it doesn't necessarily, I should say. Launch the T-Net. Alright, got the rail more or less in place. Time to get it centered. Take a couple down before I do that. Alright, well, I'm going to do a demonstration, so 
I can do it pretty quick. Plus, that looked like it was right on. What I do? That one's pretty darn good. And that one's pretty darn good. Alright, the rail does have a little wiggle in the T-slot, so it is worthwhile to try to make sure you get that centered as well. As far as these bolts go, I'm reluctant to tighten them down really hard. I'm afraid I might deform the rail a little bit, so I just get them down firm. Okay, that way is wrong. Feels real nice. Now this sub bed is hand drilled. I've done a few different things with it, experimented with it. Um, yours will probably look a little cleaner than this one does. Also, I'm going to be using the two T-slots on the carriage to mount mine up. You may end up using these mounting holes. They're uh, a size of bolt that I didn't have. I think it's an M6. Um, I've got M5 T-slots, so I'm going to use those. Um, I think those will give you a little bit better mount.
washers probably aren't essential here, but but I'm going to use them. This G10 stuff is really nice. It's uh, lighter than steel and stronger than steel, I think, as far as flex goes. If you do decide to drill or cut it, make sure you wear a gas mask or do it underwater and stuff. The dust is not much fun. Your holes may not be as tight as with these either. Again, I don't think bearing down really hard on these is a great idea. It may be possible to deform the carriage enough to affect how it nicely it slides. I don't know. Get it nice and snug until you're comfortable with it and see how it slides. And if it doesn't slide real well, loosen them up a little bit and do what makes sense. way was the right way. Got it. Whoa. I still have the corners on. The corners are kind of a neat piece. They're adjustable. Let you level your glass. Um, first thing you need to do is set some nuts in there. Those holes should be pretty tight so you couldn't, you can't just hand pop the nuts in there. The way I do it is I put a nut through with a washer, I'm sorry, a bolt through with a washer. and let the bolt pull it in. Doesn't necessarily have to go all the way to the bottom just so it's in there nice and snug. Oops, pulling the washer. 